Welcome to another Katia V5 tips and tricks video. So I received this comment today. A part file is approved in assembly, is visible or showing, but part is not showing. Downwide axis system also not showing and rotate pan is not highlighted. So I see that uh, this is a comment for my Katia V5 reset toolbars to default. But this doesn't look to be a problem regarding the user interface. As you can see, assembly only, but problem is part is not showing, but another are correct working like a sheet metal part design. So let's see, I open this assembly over here, the quick return mechanism. And as we can see, we have the product at the top and individual components. If I will hide the product, everything will be hidden. Even though these are still set to be visible, since the large product will control everything over here. And for example, for a part, we have this one. If I will select it, we're going to see that this will be the crank, especially the pad one over here. I have the possibility over here to hide the crank. That will hide everything over here, even though this pad looks to be visible, that won't be visible because this will control the visibility. And again, I have the possibility within this part to go um, step down over here on the following uh, part. Over here we have this crank, so the sub uh, section of the, that part. I can have this hidden again. And we're going to see that that will make the part um, hidden. And now if I will unhide this, if I will try to unhide it, I will going to see that it will still not be visible. This is because we have the crank hidden over here. So we have to show that and afterwards we can do the hide show on the part. The same can be done um, even at a part body level. So let's see if I will hide this part body and now I can have this crank shown. This still won't be visible. So we have the assembly the part after the part we have this sub level for the part and afterwards you're going to have the part bodies which we can enable and we can add multiple so this can only be uh, one for each part this as well and afterwards we have the part bodies which you can go with a high amount of uh, part body within the same part so i think this is the problem that um, the user is experiencing for example, if I will go and have this open in a new window, I recall that uh, he said that this only happens within uh, assembly files. I'm not sure if uh, that's right or not, but we can see at a part level we have the crank. If I will hide that top element, everything will be hidden, even though these are set to visible. So it's the same. Um, let's say the same workflow just as before but if i would want to hide for example only pocket over here one this will hide everything since this is part design and all those features are uh, merged so yeah if i would like this to be hidden in this case i will have to go and have this deactivated so you're gonna see that also the um, aggregated elements in this case sketch three will also be deactivated so that is how you can um, make that pocket so it's not hidden but it's not active right now so you can have that reactivated or you can go all the way to pad 2 you can right click over here and set define in work object therefore katia will only process everything that is uh, done until that so we have the pad one process with the sketch one and afterwards we have the second pad but the pocket will no longer be added. And now if I will create a new feature over here, it will be added over here as you can see. So we have sketch four before pocket one, and I can add an additional element. And this will be, so let me set this, for example, to five millimeters, and we're gonna have that. And we're gonna see that the pad will be added before the pocket and now if i will go all the way to the pocket and enable this uh, 
to let's say defining work object we're gonna see how the part will turn red this will require an update but now we're gonna have that change so for the hide and show is the same workflow if I have the part body hidden everything will be hidden the same for the features in this case pad and pocket since those are the only features of this part again they will all be hidden yeah so i hope that um, you find this video useful keep in mind that it's important in cat v5 if you hide the features if you hide the part body if you hide the sub part uh, section over here if you hide all the all the part or if you want to hide um, the product assembly or a sub assembly within a product with multiple um, products okay so if you find this video useful i will also position a similar video over here to the left i also have a katia v5 tips and tricks playlist i will list that within the video description there are currently around 70 videos over there and a subscribe button to the right if you consider to, to subscribe so thanks for watching